The most amazing thing about Git as a source version management system is that I can have the working directory of my repository be restored to any specific point in time. I've seen a lot of people explain this in a way that confused me. So let me know if the following helps you better understand time travel using Git. I show this DC Comics character, Flash, running super fast towards us because I see an analogy. The sequence of images represent different versions of the same person but at different points in time. Each version is visually a little bigger as it gets closer to our viewpoint. The body closest to us is the most recent version. In Git, that most recent version is called head. The at sign is a shortcut for head. Versions before head we can reference in Git using a number of head references with a caret or hat character. Such references are what Git calls commitish because Git maintains versions using a chain of commits, a term borrowed from SQL database commands for saving a set of data. The initial commit is established by a git init command, which creates the database of version information. From there, a physical chain of commits leads us to the present in a series of parent to child links. These ordinal number references can be used instead of carrots in head specifications. This linkage is the mechanism that enables git to tell us the difference of text content between two commits. When we make a new commit, it's added in front of the current head and Git automatically points head to that new commit. Notice all the head references have been renumbered. We issue the git checkout command to have Git magically reestablish our working directory as it was at a past moment in time. Getting back to my analogy, new commits are added where Flash is looking. Master is the default branch, but we can alternatively issue a checkout command to define a new branch called branch1 as the current branch. Then new commits will be added to that branch. This is how separate parallel universes can exist at the same time. The git merge command combines changes made back into a new commit under the long-running master branch, and branch1 can be removed. These actions are the mechanisms used in what's called a Git workflow. The master branch is typically used for what is on production servers. If there's an emergency hotfix needed, a hotfix branch is created. A develop branch is used to develop the next release and merging with the hotfix when appropriate. Separate feature branches may also be created to experiment with new techniques without disturbing existing work. Once it's working, the feature branch is merged and becomes a part of the release branch used for system QA testing. Well, this is all the time we have today. I hope to see you at one of my live whole day classes where we can dive into these and other additional topics. My contact information is listed here.